Joining me from the state of Texas is Professor Benjamin Newman. He's head of the biology department at Texas A&M University, Texarkana. Uh, Professor Newman, a lot of concerns about this uh, vaccine made by Russia, which it says is ready to go with it. Do you share some of those same concerns? Well, yeah. As a scientist, our job is to look at the data and then come to our own conclusion about whether or not a thing is safe and effective. And the data is not there. The little drips that have been released are just sort of indications of, you know, the general picture of what may have happened. But uh, no, you really need to see because seeing is believing uh, very much. It does look as though they're cutting some corners and that doesn't necessarily guarantee a bad outcome, but they are gambling. And in some countries like the U.S., there's only so much trust in science, and you basically have one chance to get that right. When you gamble like this, that is what's on the table, essentially. And it sounds like Russian President Vladimir Putin is gambling with one of his daughter's life, basically saying she got the vaccine, uh, she's feeling well, and has a high number of antibodies. I mean, is that that clear cut at this point? He can say that definitely? Well, it's hard to know <laughs> without actually seeing the uh, data. So there have been a lot of papers um, now about vaccines in animals and in people going through the first stages. And every single one of those that I have read has said that their antibody results are fantastic, as are their T cell results. But you can still see something like a hundredfold difference between the best working ones and the least working ones. The type of vaccine that they're talking about, and there are actually a couple of them on the go in Russia at the moment, but this adenovirus vaccine is one that's being tried in various uh, countries. There are at least four efforts uh, with adenovirus-like vaccines that I know of. They seem to be on the safe side, but on the less effective side. So I think they're a little bit less likely to have strong negative effects, but at the same time, they're a little bit less likely to actually mm -hmm. work in the way that they're intended to. Professor Newman, how unusual is it for a country like Russia, for any country, to make the kind of announcement like they did today without conducting a phase three trial? <laughs> I think the political game right here is a little stronger than the scientific game, perhaps. Um, a colleague of mine, I think, said it uh, very well, and to paraphrase him, we shouldn't be using vaccine development um, as a yardstick by which to judge national scientific prowess. Essentially, it looks like they're rushing things for the bigger sort of publicity bang. And I don't know that we can expect uh, good things to come out of a result like that. But so far, it's mostly just an unknown. And we will find out when, they, uh, when and if they release some of the results. So if they wanted to offer you this vaccine, would you uh, let them inject it into you? I'd rather not right now. So the concern is not that the technology is bad. The basic principles they're operating on are the same ones that are being used for lots of different vaccines. What I would be concerned about is the uh, manufacturing quality control that's gone into this. There are easy ways that you can think you're doing one thing in the laboratory, and then because you're dealing with all sorts of things that are smaller than the eye can actually see, it's quite easy to come up with something slightly different than what you thought or something with a bit of an impurity that could cause a bad reaction. I, I think that's where the uh, mm -hmm. risk is, and I'm glad nothing bad has happened so far, at least as far as we know. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. And what, what, where do things stand with United States, UK, and China, many companies there are also in phase three of vaccine development. What can we realistically expect in terms of a timeline? Yeah, um, I think the timelines that people are looking at are uh, most of the big companies seem to be condensing either phase one and two or phase two and three so that they can run them at the same time in order to get out. It looks like everybody is racing toward sometime in late November or early December. Um, uh, the Chinese government has actually given provisional approval for just limited use of a vaccine that's also in phase three but hasn't completed phase three. So this sort of thing is an emergency measure that is uh, potentially on the table, but it's not the safest way to do things. And it's a question of how much risk a uh, country and a populace is willing to tolerate. That's 
indeed, that is correct. I will leave it there, Professor Benjamin Newman. Thank you so much.